I've talked at length on this channel about how much I love my M1 Mac Mini. It's a tiny powerhouse that excels at pretty much any task I've ever thrown at it. I do wish, however, that one, it had more ports, and two, it had some form of upgradable storage, as the 512 gigabytes of storage I spec'd it out with when I bought it just isn't really enough for me anymore. There are a huge number of hubs available out there that can add extra connectivity to the Mac Mini and some that allow you to add more storage too. This one from Mini Sapuru definitely stands out from the rest of the Mac Mini hub crowd. So in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at it. Quick disclaimer before we get started, Mini Sapuru actually sent me this unit in order to review it. They haven't sponsored this video, they have no say in how I'm going to review it, I will of course review it completely honestly, and they're seeing this video for the first time when you are. Alright, let's jump in. In terms of ports, the Mac Mini isn't too bad really. You've got an Ethernet port, two Thunderbolt slash USB-C ports, an HDMI port, two USB-A ports, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. As I mentioned in previous videos, the lack of an SD card slot is particularly annoying for me though, as I've had to use dongles in the past to get footage for the videos on this channel from my camera onto the Mac itself. It's just a bit of a faff really. The lack of storage, well, that's pretty much entirely my fault, as I just didn't buy enough of it when I grabbed my M1 Mac Mini back in 2020. Half a terabyte just isn't enough for all of the raw camera footage, music projects, instrument libraries, etc. that I've jammed onto my Mac over the last couple of years. So let's take a closer look at this Mini Sapuru dock and see if it can help alleviate those issues. Inside the box you get the dock itself, a tiny wee instruction manual, and some replacement accessories for a feature I'll talk about a bit later on. And this is what the setup looks like in use. The Mac Mini slots into this receptacle on top of the dock, and it fits in quite snugly. There are rubber pads on all of these inside edges, so there's no chance of your Mac Mini getting scuffed up when putting it in or out. The finish of the dock matches the silver of the Mac Mini almost exactly, which is a nice touch, and overall the dock does feel nice and sturdy. You attach the dock to the Mac Mini via this USB-C cable that is probably a little bit longer than it needs to be maybe. Mm, so you are losing a Thunderbolt USB-C port, what do you gain in return? Along the side of the Mini Sapuru dock are a mini SD card slot, a full sized SD card slot, and two USB C ports. The SD card slots are an incredibly useful addition here and support speeds up to 150 megabits per second. The two USB C 3.2 ports only support data transmission, so you won't be able to power something like an audio interface or attach a monitor via these ports. They are rated for up to 10 gigabits per second speeds though, which is very nice. That isn't all though, as hidden away on the bottom of the dock is a sneaky wee compartment where you can install an SSD drive. Now this dock supports both M.2 NVMe and SATA SSDs, and is a fantastic way to expand the storage of the Mac Mini. The ability to install an NVMe SSD is especially welcome, as these drives often come close to being as fast as Apple's own built-in storage. Your Mac will see this drive as long as it's attached, and it's a much more wallet-friendly way of increasing your storage. If you're unsure of what drives will work with this dock, there are lists of compatible NVMe and M.2 SATA drives in the manual, and I'll link to the best of those down below the like button. As someone who makes music and creates video content in a tiny wee studio, I love how the Mini Sapuru dock reduces how much space the Mac Mini takes up on my desk. 
I'm not so keen on how long the cable is that attaches the dock to the Mac Mini though. This really could have been about, what, half as long maybe? Another small niggle is the lack of any kind of grips on the bottom of the dock. This does mean that when it's sitting on a desk, it does kind of slide about a bit more than you might perhaps want it to. Not a massive issue by any stretch, but it did kind of stand out to me as a wee bit of an annoyance. Other than those two wee niggles though, this thing is a really good bit of kit. It's compact, looks great and has a decent selection of ports, but it's the ability to install an NVMe SSD that really makes the Mini Sapuru USB dock shine for me. As I'm sure you know, buying extra storage from Apple when you first configure the Mac you want to buy on the Apple Store is really, really expensive. If you wanted to upgrade the base model Mac Mini's paltry 256 gigabyte storage to one terabyte, for example, it would cost you a whopping £400. You could go out and grab this dock and a one terabyte NVMe SSD drive for less than half that. It's a no-brainer, really. You'll find links to the Mini Sapuru dock and some compatible NVMe and SATA SSDs for it down in the description. And stick around to find out why I fell head over heels in love with this weird microphone.